myself. And this is the hardest decision I've ever had. Describe year 12 in one word. Um, interesting. Describe year 12 in one word. Confused. Fun. Unique. Exuberant. I can't say it on camera. <laughs> uh, fun. Really? Uh, multifarious. Big Mick. <laughs> Mr. Sheldon. Sheldon. Obviously, Sheldon. Obviously Mr. Moore. Just a given. Frank's pretty good. Fresher. Zachy. Well. <laughs> Mr. Anthony. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Franks. Oh, yeah. Fresher. Mr. Paul Loss. <laughs> <laughs> Sid Gurger. Maury. 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 Mr. Dowdy. Yeah. Craig. Mr. Yeah. 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 Craig. Yeah. Wilco. Mr. Welsh. Not Skibs. Not Miss Siovis. <laughs> Miss Levitas. <laughs> Mr. Moore. Mr. Yeah, Moore Mr. and Jones. Jones. Mr. Yeah, Jones. 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 Reminds me of Mr. Hurst because he's like DJ. <laughs> Byron, not the first time I've had to call you down here, mate. Miss Yorvis has been in contact with me again. Business studies. You gotta go to class. Yeah. You keep not going to business studies. I know it's your favourite subject. Get there. Get to business studies. Some say KFC. First crush at Cronulla High School. My first crush was Tamika Chapman. My first crush was Hayden Tumeth. <laughs> My first crush was I don't know. Oh, <laughs> first crush. Emma. Um, uh, Bronte Brown. <laughs> first crush. Annalise Bell. Tamika Chapman. Joel Bryant. Danny Zapata. First crush at Cronulla High School. Jake Southwell. Hunter Liddell. Hayden Tuber. <laughs> Your year seven crush at Cronulla High School? Harris Nanshaw. Dominic Evans. Uh, Tyron Rivera. My girlfriend. First crush at Cronulla? I don't know. <laughs> Jared. <laughs> Jared. <laughs> Jared. <laughs> Jared. <laughs> I think it might have been Jared. 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 Lily. First crush at Cronulla. Ebony Pie. First crush at Cronulla High School. I fell in love with myself. First crush at Cronulla High. Um, Emma. Uh, Brittany. Yeah, same. First crush at Cronulla. Trey. <laughs> First crush. <laughs> so, your favourite student of Year Twelve? I would say Sasha when she's working hard, and Daisy when she has story time at the end of the lesson. Uh, your least favourite student? Daisy when she has story time <laughs> at any other point in the lesson. Okay, so your favourite student of Year Twelve? My favourite student of Year Twelve, or my favourite student during the last six years? During the last six years.
<laughs> Velomir, without a doubt. And your least favourite oh, student. Why is he my favourite? Oh. Do you want oh, that? Okay, yeah, sure. tell us. Oh, it's the way he tried to organise everyone with the handball competitions, the way he freaked out when he broke the clock in A13 at 9.34am on the day that my daughter was doing a HSC exam. The day that he proved to me that he stalked me all the way to Gallipoli and back by looking at apps for plane flights. He plotted me all the way there and all the way back. Favourite kid, stand out. And least favourite, student? Least favourite. I don't have any least favourites. Who is your favourite student of Year 12? Will Schofield. And who is your least favourite student of Year 12? Will Schofield. Favourite student? Uh, definitely Zoe Lake and Eli Bell. They're on their mentor. And least favourite? Haven't got one. Couldn't possibly. Favourite student? All of Year 12 legal. Favourite student? Tough one. I'd have to say Chris- Kobe Napper. Christopher Lee. That was only. <laughs> um, Mary. Oh, Jake that's... Southwell. Ooh, really? Hunter Liddell. Hang I, on, hang I on. I'm still going. My construction class. Well, I'll be killed if I don't say Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Oh, soft, you're all soft. Charlie. <laughs> Is my left side or right side better? Or... Well, I don't have favourite or least favourites. I, I would fair to say I dislike students equally. It's probably... But I was very close to my classes this year. Um, you had, for example, you've got um, Matt Easton, very close to Matt, and you've got you know great kids like uh, Jim McDonald. Okay, so very close to them, great kids. Um, there's only one kid really annoyed me. He annoyed everyone at um, Connor. But anyway, less said the better. Um, my favourite, I don't actually have a favourite. The dancers. The dancers, the dancers in general. The dancers are the favourites. And least favourite? The dancers. The dancers. <laughs> um, favourite student? Ones that are no longer here. <laughs> Everyone in my year 12 class. What? Yeah, you're a sucker. You are such a sucker. You don't. <laughs> Why are you talking to staff room? <laughs> That's not true. I love them. Um, Most of them. If they have a mullet. Who won't you miss? Oh. No one really. Oh, okay, I'm so gonna, Carl. I'm gonna miss, I'm gonna miss <laughs> everyone. Like, I feel like we've all come together as a unit Ooh. and just Sorry. helped Go one on. another throughout the past few years. I would have to say Mr. Ibrahim because he's constantly bullying me about living in Dulwich Hill. Who won't you miss? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lucy, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Lucy. No, Lucy. No, 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 no. Probably Tommy back, so. <laughs> Why don't you miss? Elise. Zoe. <laughs> oh, I don't know, I'm not gonna miss. Why um, don't you miss? Um, um, oh, probably Ash. Probably Riley Stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Ash Park. <laughs> <laughs> Jared. 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 Um, who won't you miss? Oh, my Nelson. ex-boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Let's list them. And who won't you miss? The English faculty. Same. <laughs> who won't you miss? Tyron. <laughs> yeah, probably Tyron. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so what do you think, Eric? I don't know. Bryce, what do you reckon? Are you guys for real? We've been working on this for so much and you just mate, never mate, get mate, it. Mate, you're not you and you're hungry. Better? Oh Better? You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Okay, um, where will you be in 10 years? You know, probably yeah. drop in the Shire. I'm starting yeah. the Shire to yeah. 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 I'll be lost. <laughs> You'll be in Athens. You'll be in Athens. <laughs> oh, you will not be living in an apartment at Woolloomooloo, drinking coffees and smash that there. Yeah. <laughs> I'll probably be at South Carolina having a coffee, looking at the ocean. Probably in the hospital. Rich. With a job, hopefully. I'll be in the army, so. I'll be in childcare. Still gonna be working at Domino's. <laughs> Potentially a teacher. <laughs> hopefully with a job. <laughs> I hope, but who knows? Yeah. I don't know, but I'd like to own a place down in Bondi. 
I reckon probably just traveling and stuff. Um, on a yacht sailing around Europe. <laughs> <laughs> I'll join. Uh, we'll all go. Happy. <laughs> Where will you be in 10 years? Famous. <laughs> Where will you guys be in 10 years? Um, um Paris. <laughs> somewhere somewhere partying <laughs> Zoe's in Ibiza party Ibiza party yeah. <laughs> not here thank god <laughs> I'm still going to be at school hopefully to become a teacher so it's going to be yeah, great at school <laughs> dancing Some I don't know archaeological site i got to choose bones. a career first <laughs> Where will you be in 10 years? Uh, firefighter for the city of Sydney. Uh, Travelling. Swimming. Things no one says at Cronulla High School. <laughs> Things no one says. Mr Sheldon admitting he's wrong. Harrison Earnshaw's here today. Mr Cherry's speech was so short today. <laughs> Ella, your handwriting was so perfect today. <laughs> Benny didn't get stuck in anything today. Uh, sport does not continue as per normal today. <laughs> Uh, Miles Jacobs coming on time to a test. Girls are, are allowed fake nails and eyelashes. Feel free to bring your bag in the library. <laughs> I love walking through B Block. <laughs> uh, you don't need the syllabus. English, English is, is definitely, definitely going to bump up my ATAR. You, you can, can listen, listen to music in class. We've been talking to you today. <laughs> I get so much stuff done in my study period. <laughs> How good is the new NASA HC? Um, tackle footy is encouraged. <laughs> Uh, we have a lot of room to spread out at Cronulla High School. Bro, I've got 95% on my bio test. Best memory is actually year 11 camp last year. Um, watching Emma Philpot come out of the water after falling off the raft. Any of Kai's stories? Always the snow trip. Uh, standing in the car park at the bottom of Threadbow and it was fresh snow, people were picking up snow off the ground and chucking it at each other. Uh, winning the um, ju junior boys touch footy comp with some of the touch footy boys pouring with rain back over of Cronulla High. I think Tommy Baxter led the boys to a great win that day. Year 7 camp, um, Indigenous programs and rugby league programs are pretty fun. Best memory of Year 12? Uh, being in the hall for our little video thing that's been destroyed and no one can find it. Mm. Where people made promises to love each other and share each other and be equitable and fair and all those things that all that stuff and no one actually followed through. Oh, handball. 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 Me and Cody winning the handball competition. Me <laughs> <laughs> sitting on the sideline. <laughs> Favourite memory? Hmm. I need a minute to think about that one. Yeah. Uh, year 10 ISD. <laughs> 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 That's right. Cameron, remember we locked Blake in the thing in the rain? Oh, we did. Favourite memory? Chay Powell down to ski school, down to the year 10 snow trip. Um, my favourite memory would be Benny Brett getting her finger stuck in any possible device with a hole in it. Wait, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> you can't cut it. Benny Brett getting her finger or hand stuck in anything that you can get your finger or hand stuck in. Probably year seven camp on the second night, uh, Mr Cherry walked in and I wasn't looking and I was um, laying the F-bomb out about 50 times in one minute. And I was uh, dubbed F bomb king of uh, Yaramundi. <laughs> advice for the future? Uh, same advice I like to give most year 12s when they leave be true to yourself. It's really important that you are true to yourself. Um, if you can look yourself in the mirror and know that you've done your best, then you should live a good life. 
try to be yourself. Find out who yourself is originally, first of all, and then try and be a better version of you, which for a lot of you will be a lifelong journey. My first full year of teaching was when this current cohort was in year seven. So you guys are all extremely sentimental to me. It was fantastic seeing you grow over the years from the first weeks in year seven camp all the way until now. So all the best of luck for your future. Travel the world. Get out, see as many different places as you possibly can and you will grow up along the way. Good luck. Uh, let's say live your life as if you've only got one of them because you have only got one, but don't hurt people on the way. Any advice for the future? Okay, I suppose the main thing is, is that the, uh, the way you go about doing it all is more important than actually achieving or getting there. Um, because yeah, everything else in life is not gonna be over just two years or six years, it's gonna be over a long period of time. So really, you know, there's no such thing as failure unless you don't try to do it again. And just remember that, yeah, the path is more important than the, uh, than the finish line. Um, I'd just say to take up all the opportunities that come your way and make the most of them. Um, and in whatever path you choose to take, try and make a difference for the better in, in any way possible. I see you at the movies. I see you with your lipstick on. I'm looking out for cosmos. I'm hoping that we'll get along. It's time for an ovation. It's time for us to make a It's a wink, Tommy. Is it done? Is it facing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>